We're talking about energy. Can you feel it flow? Yeah. We're talking about conservation of energy today, so make sure you have your worksheet handy to fill out during the program. Energy is defined as the ability to do work. As we've discussed before, there are five different types. Do you remember what they are? Wood burning would be heat energy. The sun gives us solar energy. The energy stored in a battery would be considered chemical energy. Anything we plug into a socket would be considered electrical energy. And energy in motion, like riding a bike, would be considered mechanical energy. Mechanical energy can either be potential or kinetic. Potential energy is stored while kinetic energy is due to motion. While I ride up the hill, it is kinetic because I'm moving. There comes a point where I change direction, which is potential energy. Then, when I go down the hill, it's kinetic again. So as you can see, energy can change from one form to the next. The law of conservation of matter states that energy can neither be created or destroyed. It can only be transformed from one form to the other. Can you determine which energy transformations are taking place? For example, water flows downstream and stops at a dam. That would be an example of kinetic to potential energy. The water was moving, which is kinetic, and it stops at the dam, which is potential. However, it could overflow at any time, which would make it kinetic energy again. Pause the video now and take a couple of minutes to fill out number 5A, B, C, D, and E on your worksheet. Press play to check your answers once you are through. Well, I had to move the rubber band to get it stretched to the position in the picture. So, kinetic energy was transformed to potential energy. As I pull back on the rubber band, it's kinetic energy. Right before I release it, it's stored energy. It's getting ready to go, so that's potential energy. Once it's in motion, it's kinetic energy again. In order to get the book on the shelf, I had to move. Once I put the book down, it stops moving. So that is kinetic to potential. Now if that same book were to fall off the shelf, it's moving from a stored position to a moving position. So that would be potential to kinetic. If the water were to overflow over the dam, the water was stored, so that was potential, and it started moving, so that would be kinetic. Electrical energy can be transformed to light, sound, heat, and mechanical motion in an electric circuit. An electrical circuit contains a source, which is the battery, a conductor, which is the wire, which means something that electricity can pass through and a device that uses and transform electrical energy. In this case, that would be the light bulb transforming electrical energy into light and heat. All these parts must be connected in a complete, unbroken path in order for energy transformations to take place. If one piece is missing, there will be no light in the bulb. That other little black thing beside the battery would probably be a switch to turn it on and off. So, what are some of the sources of electrical energy? Meaning, where can we get electricity from? The electrical energy in a battery comes from stored chemical energy. It stays there until we need to use it. Electrical energy in solar cells comes from solar energy, which is directly from the sun. The electrical energy in outlets may come from chemical energy, like burning fuels, which powers a generator in a power plant. 
Therefore, electric companies like Ori Electric needs lots of generators and lots of electrical wires, which are conductors of electricity, to get it to your house. Making it possible for you to turn on the lights. <laughs> So here we get a little bit more complicated, but can you still identify what kind of energy transformations are taking place? For example, turning on a flashlight. I know it uses a battery, which is chemical energy. Once I turn it on though, it changes to electrical energy. That electrical energy is then transformed to light, and if I leave the flashlight on too long, it gets hot, so it's transformed to heat as well. As a matter of fact, I think it's safe to say wherever there's light, there is heat. They go together. A more complicated example would be a generator. The electricity from your house more than likely came from a power plant, which uses generators. So first, the fuel has to be burned, which is chemical energy changed to heat energy. Then it's changed to mechanical energy because the generator moves from the heat. Then the mechanical energy from the generator is transformed to electrical energy and then back to whatever you need it for at your house. Light, sound. So for number 10, anything that uses electricity or that would be found in your house or that you have to plug in would use a generator which starts with chemical to heat to mechanical. You decide what's next. Okay, now you try. Pause the video and try to complete numbers 10, A through F on your own. Check your answers after you are through. Use the generator example to help you complete the rest. If it has to do with electricity, it starts with chemical to heat to mechanical to electrical. Again, assuming that the electricity from your house comes from a power plant, at the power plant, the fuel is burned, which is chemical. It gives off heat, which moves the generator, which is mechanical and then the generator changes the electricity into light and heat. So remember, if I had to plug it in, more than likely it came from a power plant. So, chemical to heat to mechanical to electrical, but this time, electrical energy is being transformed to sound. Doorbells run off of electricity as well. So, once again, where did that electricity come from? Assuming it came from a power plant, chemical energy was converted to heat, to mechanical, to electric, then to sound. Assuming that this is an electric stove, chemical to heat, to mechanical, to electrical, to light and heat, because more than likely, the electricity came from a generator. This old school heater got the electricity the same way the stove did before. An electrical fan got its electricity from the same way all the others did. Chemical energy to heat energy to mechanical energy to electrical energy. But this time, electrical energy is being transformed to mechanical motion. <laughs> 